Hi everybody, it's Susan from the Infant Room. Today I want to read a story. Well, actually it's nighttime and it's dark and I have a very bright light on me. But I'm going to turn it off in a minute because we're going to read a story called William and the Magic Ring, a Shadow Casting Bedtime Story. It's a little scary. I don't know how bedtimey it is. I have a flashlight. You see it? So that I can make the shadows. You know how shadows work, right? You can see the ones behind me from my head. My, my, from this bright light, see, see it back there? My hand is moving around. That's a shadow and you need a light to make one. Which is this. Because I'm turning that one off as soon as I turn the computer around. I'm going to read the first page because you need to be able to see it. Okay. The flip book, it goes up like this. You see? In the picture. It says, One night Sweet William went to bed and he pulled the covers round his head. But on this night he could not sleep, for something in his room did creep. Let's see what it is. I have to hang on for one minute while I move the computer. Like that, so you can see my easel. And I have to turn my flashlight on like whoops like that and then we have to turn the light off oh look it's dark so one night sweet william went to bed he pulled the covers round his head but on this night he could not sleep for something in his room did creep you see the window on see how it casts a shadow he listened tight to hear the sound, a tip, tip, tap, it moved around, a tip, tip, tap, and then he saw a window cast upon his wall. See the window? Let's see what the next one is. And dancing in the window's light, shadows fluttered in the night. As William watched them spin and sway, he left his bedroom far away. Then from the shadows on the wall, William heard a faint caw, caw, and perched above his head, he saw a crow with something in his claw. You see that little round circle? I wonder what that could be. Hmm. The crow then swooped so all could see the ring he held so greedily. Do you see the round circle? That's a ring. He called attention, wrapped his beak, a tip, tip, tap. He sprang to speak. Oh, there he is with the ring. Now with this ring, I'm king of all. Of all the birds that sing and the beasts that crawl, obey my orders, bide my law, to work my servants, toil all. He isn't being very friendly, is he? And lined behind him in a row marched beasts of woodland to and fro. Foxes, bears, raccoons, and deer were all enslaved and full of fear. Yet hiding in the shadows low, a sly old jackal watched the crow. See the crow up in the tree? The jackal planned to steal the ring, so he instead could be the king. Then all at once, from dark of night, the jackal pounced in furious flight. And eyes of fire, enraged with spite, the crows struck back with angry might. Oh, they're fighting. Then 
then talons gripped and feathers flew, so e each the other overthrew. Look, they're going round and round. Now William shut his eyes so tight and wishing the shadows wouldn't fight. He gathered strength, prepared to spring. Then he himself reached for the ring. He snatched the ring and held it tight. He tugged on it with all his might. He squinched his eyes, afraid to see what the battle scene would be. But now, when he peeked with ring in hand, nothing leapt from Shadowland. Nothing lurked, nothing waved, nothing near him misbehaved. to bring this closer to you so you can see it because this one is not a shadow because I think the shadows are gone. Let me see the, uh, the, the this way. There we go. See it? For that ring upon his wall was just his shade pull after all and when he'd grabbed it from the fight he'd closed the shade and blocked the light. Now in the darkness William smiled the battle had been reconciled for without light to let them fall, the shadows can't exist at all. And so he rolled onto his side, curled up his knees and closed his eyes. He held his pillow, breathed so deep and wrapped in darkness, fell asleep. And that's the end.